a second. Sorry, we've been going for the past 10 seconds. I just... <laughs> oh, I suddenly heard audio. It's beautiful music. It's beautiful music. At least I got audio. We could do it for uh, 99. Um, anyway, welcome back to Tomb Raider. Uh, this is Unfinished Business, because we got Unfinished Business with this game. It's uh, the expansion pack to the first game, right? Yes, and, I, uh, and I've since learned since our last stream yesterday that uh, the original trilogy remaster is, in fact, coming to PC. So, that's good. I'll be able to play it. That's right. This game got a remasters announced. Yep. I think they, I think they look good. You, you prefer the original look, you said. Yeah, but that, but I'm weird, so I admit that I'm that. Uh... Also, just the fact that they're being remastered, I think probably means that they'll run better than these DOS based. Oh versions. yeah, that's something I failed to consider. But at the same time, uh, I have that uh, sneaking suspicion that. Uh... Oh wow, I got stuck in the water for a second. I'm up here. Oh crap. So are we just is this just it? We just jump in immediately. There's no cutscenes. Yeah, there's nothing? no cut there's no cutscenes uh in unfinished business. It's just more levels. Okay, so it's, it's like uh it's like a level pack kinda. Yep. That was how uh look, this isn't technically DLC, this is expansions. Okay. What's what's the difference? <laughs> That's what it's called, like, uh, like DLC, because you did you, DLC. Yeah, I know it was, it was DLC before DLC. So you want to know what the difference is? You the, got it on a disc the, for expansion. The name. Yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah, you got it on a disc and stuff. Um, and you know what? There were downloads, uh, as well, but they didn't call them. Uh, they called them plugins. I've made a terrible fucking tactical error. Give me a moment. Just jump in with. The... I'm getting reckless. I admit. So we start, we don't have any of like the major weapons uh, from the end of the game. We have a shotgun though, I believe. No, we don't even have the shotgun. We gotta collect everything again. All right, so, I ha so I'm gonna mention now, I, ha I have played the original, but I haven't played any of the expansions, so. Okay, so, so you've never played it. these levels before. No, I didn't, because I didn't, I didn't, there wasn't, D there was no DLC back in my day. Oh, and, uh, so, Hello, so, so, uh, we're back in the, uh, city of Kamun, but it's got another name. Its name is, uh, Return to Egypt. Commune. What? We're in a hippie commune? No. The, the Egyptian level from, like, the first section of Egypt in the original game, we're back here. Oh, okay. This level's called Return to Egypt. And I saw there was a, uh, there was a Twitch category for this game's level editor. Oh, yeah? Cool. Yeah, people have made detailed mods for uh, Last Revelation, and, like, because it's got a really elaborate, like, mod suite, or, like, level editor, and they edit it for, like, a mod suite and shit. It's been, it's if pretty If I had a nickel for every time a game was mentioned in this stream, only to be remastered immediately, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, Marian. which isn't a lot, but uh, the companies are probably making more off of them. What was the first one? It was, uh, that also happened recently. We talked about a game and it was immediately announced for a remaster. Shit. Uh. We played, uh, actually it might be even more than that because Metopia got ported to Switch right after we finished it on 3DS. <laughs> Damn. If only, if only we, we did better. We could have done better, just waited and then would have been able to play it on Switch without any hassle and without any of the... Okay, I'm just Gex waiting. Trilogy. Now, those are being ported, not remastered. I don't think they're going to get, like, whole new graphics like Tomb Raider's getting. Alright. Uh... HD 60 FPS 4K Gex. You can see the sweat on his gecko skin. Oh, that'd be great for, for scalies. Alright, uh, so this level's basically the same, except it's flooded. Uh... <laughs> So, so this is the same like design as one of the base game levels. Yeah, this is this is the first uh, Egypt level, and technically the third one, I guess, or second one, I guess, because the second one moves back to the first one. Come on, there we go. So I'm just trying to remember exactly, or not remember, because I haven't played this. So was this, is this called Unfinished Business on Steam? Uh, <clears throat> no, it's not on Steam. It's uh, if you download the. Uh, 
90s version of this game, then uh, then then unfinished business comes with it. So you can when you load it up, you can choose whether to do a uh, base game or unfinished business. Okay, okay, because this was apparently released in America originally as a uh, Tomb Raider Gold. Oh yeah, because it because yeah, that makes sense. Okay, right over there. I am going the right way. Up. Oh. Somebody is nearby. Because the music's not playing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I think I know what I need to do. There we go. There's no easy way out. There is no shortcut home. Alright. Uh, so, I don't know what that. So, honestly, I don't know what the plot for this is. If you want to look it up, uh, you, you, you can help me out that way. Uh, I just had the wiki page open a second ago. Tomb Raider Unfinished Business. On Tomb Raid, on the Laura Croft wiki. This is a trap. I can smell it. Released after the release of Tomb Raider 3. Really? That's strange. They made DLC for Tomb Raider 1 after Tomb Raider 3 was already out? I don't remember that. What? These whoa, 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 where'd you come from? There's a... Oh, it's a panther. I thought it was a bear. Get the f I fucking... <laughs> Bastard. Alright, let's try this again. Levels were created by three people in the San Francisco office of Eidos. Three people, huh? First chapter takes place in Egypt and occurs several months after the events of Tomb Raider. The story sees Lara returning to the city of Kamun to investigate a mysterious statue of the Egyptian goddess Bast. Ooh! This leads to her discovery of an entirely new temple dedicated to the cat deity. Oh, we're, we're uh... Okay, cool. So, so we're just doing Bast... Just Bast things, cat goddess. Hold on. What? The second chapter takes place before the first chapter. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. Chapter 2 is a prequel to Chapter 1. Was What? Okay, okay. so it's non-linear. So there's only... There's two chapters of this game. There looked four levels total. Okay, so so we should be able to get this done in like a, in like one stream. Uh, how long to beat estimated four hours? It's probably going to be more closer to five then. I think I'm going the right direction, but I have I don't know for sure. And also that fucking panther, mob panther. Yeah, I see you. Better run, bitch. Okay, come I wonder back. If they're just, I wonder if they're just gonna have the original FMV cut FMV cutscenes, or if they'll be, be reanimated in any way. I hope they fix that shit. And also, yeah. I hope they use the original because. What are these, the you... remasters, you can't have them set to the original graphics, which is nice. Yeah, uh, the Halo remasters did that. Did I get him? Oh, I don't think I did. Am I cutting out? No, you're not. Why? Why do you ask? No, you just it's times you don't respond to me is all. Oh no, no, I'm uh, I'm I'm paying attention. I'm just I was just trying to check to see if that. Uh... We have this. We have the opposite problems where we just kind of not respond to each other when we're playing. Bikes are there. You gotta take damage in order to like get down here. All right. Washed. This is gonna be. I think this is gonna be one of the harder uh, games. Uh. So what were you talking about? Sorry. What were you talking about earlier? With the. Uh... I was saying it's nice that they have the option for you to go back to the original graphics in the remaster. Yeah, I'm glad. The uh, Halo remasters did that. Uh. Nice camera angle. You can't. I've uh, the Halo remasters had their own problems though. Oh, did they? Um, I think just glitches and shit. As and you we're know, talking about before the stream about the train wreck that was the uh, Switch GTA trilogy. Oh yeah, and that's why I was like kind of. I think I got. Uh, that's why I was kind of skeptical about. Uh, that's the, an outlier though. It, mm, Halo as well was. Uh, 
not like a hundred percent good on on release. They've the Master Chief Collection. You're the they, first time I've ever heard anyone complain about the Master Chief Collection. What was wrong with it? Uh, just glitches, like problems with matchmaking. It was. It was not. It was functional. I'll give it that. I think it was. It was better time than like. Uh, than when. Uh, than when they tried to do the, the Liberty City trilogy. So I can't imagine the Tomb Raider re remasters not having at least some basic, like, like modernization of some things that, uh, like the the audio leveling not affecting the cutscene was a big problem we had with that'll, this that'll, version of the game. Imagine if that if that was still the same. I can't imagine that in 2023. I, That's what I'm saying. I know, but it'd be funny if it happened. So so imagine yeah. if it did. That would be a stunning oversight. Yeah, and the game is just fine. Uh, other than that, it's, it's all it works fine except except that's the only thing wrong with it. I'd be fine with that if that was like the only thing wrong with it. Crash and Spyro are great uh, re remakes. Yeah, remasters if they're done right, they're it's like really nice to have. But if they're done shitty, it's like how dare you? And then you remove like the original just so other people can't play it. Who was who infamously did that? I remember that happened. Oh, was that, uh, that was Grand Theft Auto again. Not Doom. Not Doom. Classic Doom. I th oh, I remember another instance. Oh yeah. Sega removed uh, all versions of the original Sonic games off Steam in preparation for the release of Sonic Origins. <laughs> Fuckers. No, we want you to buy this version. I hate it. That's so artificial. All right, yeah. come on, you dumb. These panthers know ambushing tactics. Unfortunately, they don't know how to swim. No. Tragic. Okay, now that's dead. I can get to that key. <laughs> Hoping I'm not missing anything major, because if I do, I'm. it's going to be a while. Wait. Is that that cat statue again? I wonder if this is disrespecting Bast. I don't know. If she's got a problem with it, she can come down and do something about it. Laura, Laura Croft, in general, just kind of disrespects all sorts of, like, ancient deities. Like, like finds, like, a fucking Atlantean, like, super goddess, and she just fucking, like, shoots her multiple times. Pushes her into lava. Are we talking about the, the like, the bad guy in the Nat first game? Yeah, Natla. Ah, uh, she kind of deserved it. Yeah... But it's still, disrespect. But she gets a free pass just because she's ancient. <laughs> if that was the case, then then uh... fucking Dao Lan Wong would have would have had moral right for everything. <laughs> Dao I'm like five hundred years old. Oh, sorry, Mister Dao Lan Wong. Now leave me to my chilly premonitions. <laughs> Dude, imagine, imagine if like Dao Lan Wong was just like a male Karen, just. <laughs> Like, I am an ancient Chinese vampire. Don't make me wear a mask in public. You little pieces of shit. That was more uncle was the ultra curmudgeon. Yeah. Uncle was more curmudgeon -y than Dalhan Wong was. Yeah, but he was endearing about it. <laughs> he didn't... Actually, wait, were there... Yeah, it didn't come up with, like, political issues, thankfully. Did... Wait a minute. There were no awkward scenes where Uncle Chan was racist around the family. <laughs> against two whites <laughs> oh wait no shit i bet we better stop that otherwise otherwise we might get channel stricken again for no reason uh i was gonna say um nobody in jackie chan adventures sucks shit huh not really fucking alligators they're the perfect species uh like, the shen, shen du was just kind of generic evil demon stuff it did par for the course from yeah, a character like and that his, and his son his son Dra drago was lame but he didn't suck shit yeah <laughs> he was like uh, you're funny at lame but that's that's great probably the most uh horrible act in jackie chan adventures that we like to bring up a lot was uh the big guy toru was yeah. about to cut <laughs> open jade yeah just... you know like a 10 year old child with a saw or yeah. something but the good news is that he didn't do it so he didn't no, suck he didn't shit. do it he briefly and... considered he briefly 
flirted with the idea of sucking shit. He mm, he is this too far? He he gazed upon the anus and just and just and just was like, you know what? This is too far even for me. Or no, he didn't get a chance to. He probably like reflected upon. It. He's like, you know what? That that might not be mud, but I'm not gonna stick my face in it. No, he just he got interrupted. Was what happened. Yeah, and you know what? It was the best thing that as ever. As far happened as we to him. know, he was about to go through with it, and then he becomes one of the good guys later. It's yeah. okay. He's reformed now. <laughs> it's okay. He's reformed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Jade is like his fucking best friend. Can't she has no memory of the time he almost cut her open. Hey, Jade, remember when I was about to cut you open with a sword? You're like, sorry, I, got, I was getting a little carried away. No, I, I repressed that. You did what? Not even... Whoa! You see that shit? Oh my god! Oh, it's an alligator pit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, I can't get out. This is dead. Spikes, I guess. <laughs> I can't get out. This is. De I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead, fam. Wait, no, I can but get out. Friend them. Be oh. like Daniel. When was the last time I saved? Probably not in a while. <laughs> okay, this is not too far back. <laughs> Fucking alligator. Oh. Did you see that shit? The panther. The the pit the the cat statue turned into a panther. Oh, is that what's happening? Yeah. Oh my god, this is creepier. I like I like this level editor now. Uh, Jackie Chan's uncle and Dao Lan Wong were both like really famous Asian character actors at the time. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I mean, I yeah. We found out that uh, we we we've kind of been watching like select bits and pieces of Miraculous. You haven't seen every episode, and uh, no. the monk dude showed up. Oh yeah, him. He only and, shows up now and then. Yeah, and we found out he was played by somebody we recognize. And who was it? He was, you recognized him immediately as the voice of the uh, the super Chinese martial artist Retsu in Baki. Yeah, he was Retsu, and I'm like, oh. like, is that just fucking Retsu? Has it always been Retsu? And we looked up. Yep, he was always Retsu. God, imagine, imagine, <laughs> miraculous Side first. Note. Yes. No, go on. I was gonna say, imagine uh, Miraculous Verse takes place in the same universe as Baki. That was a bad idea. I can't idea. imagine that. I can, and it's yeah. funny. <laughs> you so drew, I am Hawkmoth. It's fucking weird. The pickle art. Yeah, it began kind of like with uh, with with pickle like committing a, a shit sucky behavior, and then and then he just. He just was like, oh, he's just an animal. He doesn't know what he's doing. And he just fucking starts beating the shit and humiliating all these, like, martial artists. It's weird because, like, they they type him up as, like, this big threat. And all these people are, like, trying to stop him and just failing. But it's the stakes are kind of low. He could, he'll just basically just do nothing. It's, it's just everyone found a really strong caveman and they want to fight the caveman. He's not actually like a threat necessarily like, anymore. I'm, imagine if that was Cell. They just found like a really strong biomechanical like being and he just wanted to chill, but all the DBZ people just wanted to fight him. That's kind of what that's I kinda like. I kind of like that. Yeah, you know just... what I would have loved out of the Cell arc? What? If instead of him just being evil because I'm evil, if uh, do some like Frankenstein monster shit. Like, he, he just wanders around and gets mistreated by people, and he becomes evil. Yeah, and, well, not even just becomes evil, he just, like, gets wandered around and, 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 like, gets mistreated, and is just like, man, this uh, kind of sucks. And then... Well, we need a finale to the arc. Like, what would it just be? Just, just like, be a Goku, tournament, that's it? It would just be Goku fighting Cell, and then Cell learning appreciation for, like, good fights, and they just leave, like, friends, like, like, uh, Broly did. Well, and then he just, like, flies off into space? Um... I was hangs out he on just, Earth somewhere? Yeah, he hangs out on Earth. Does he live at Kame House? He becomes part of the... <laughs> if if TBZ was written by, bot like, Baki, then everybody Goku would fights would just become friends with him. Yeah. Come on. I don't know if Cell would become a friend, because he's still got, like, Frieza and Vegeta cells in them, but, uh... Well, he'd be, like, a rival character, I guess. What would Frieza... What would Cell be like if, if like, Frieza DNA didn't exist within him? Would he be, like, way more chill? Presumably. He's got Frieza and he's got King Cold in him, which is probably what makes him so evil. So Frieza died 
uh, like actually died. He would just have King Cold in him, but it would be balanced out with like uh, with like uh, Goku and Chris Krillin cells and shit. Is that does does like the strength of the person who the cells come from matter? It's like is that why Frieza and Cell are so dominant and like the twenty Earthlings don't really matter? Yeah, it's a it's the dominant genes versus the recessive genes. The dominant genes. Oh, is this the snake pit? Is this the, the sorry the alligator pit? That was fucking you saved mean. recently. I have saved now. Okay. I'm gonna walk in here and then fucking alligators are gonna come. This feels like it. This feels like just a a level just filled with traps and like false ends and shit. I guess and check stuff. Yeah, like a, like a real tomb. Like this is this is like the closest it's ever been to like being like an actual like trap filled tomb. Hmm. I guess that's a good point. If you're designing a uh, systems to trap intruders, you would not want them to puzzle out what the traps were. Yeah. Obvious arrow slits and shit. Okay. Uh. Okay. They came out. Sorry, go on. They came out with the uh, second and final part of the uh, DBZ abridged boob bits. Yes. I, I, the I, extra I... abridged version of the uh, Majin Buu arc. Well, you know, it's better than nothing, and their hits, their bits still kind of land. Uh, the fucking joke about, like, like, uh, the, it was the only funny, like, uh, like, pronoun joke I've ever heard. The Gotenks thing? Yeah. It was the only, the only... Well, like, there's two of them in there. Like, so, maybe they're non-binary. Oh, there's two of them in there, that's not the case. And I just laughed, because I'm like, yeah, that's funny, without being disrespectful... Oh my god! Oh, he, he's just chilling up there. What a dick! All right, that's. I it. didn't. I didn't love the second half of the bits. I, I I could kind of feel how much they don't like the Majin Buu arc, or at least that part of the Majin Buu arc. Yeah. Better than nothing, though. So the AI. So the AI is kind of weird. If you shoot them and you're not there, they kind of go back and hide. But okay, I got him. How many crocodiles did e does Egypt have like naturally? Uh. Are they just is it <sighs> population of crocodiles in Egypt? They're probably not in like ancient tombs like this, but uh... well, neither are panthers. They're here. Because okay, I'm according gonna... to National Geographic, between six thousand and thirty thousand. 6,000 and... That's, that's like, endangered levels. Well, that's just in Egypt. That's not, like, worldwide. I know, but, like, Egyptian... Cro if the Egyptian crocodiles were subspecies... <laughs> Alright. I'm here. No, not, not yet. Okay. I'm gonna level with you. This is... This is a very sketchy level. On! Get... Not uh, not sold on the level design. Uh, no, I'm just saying that uh, that I just I'm like ner more nervous because oh here we go finally. All this for shotgun shells. Wait, probably not. Probably a jump here. Yep. Do you even have a shotgun again? No, it's probably around here. But uh... oh well, there's a statue, which I guess was our goal, right? <laughs> Maybe. Are we gonna get chased by a boulder? What's gonna Let's happen? See. It's gonna turn into a panther and then and then come and attack me. No. Are oh. We, like, don't okay. We want good. To I, take the statue? Okay. Good. I have is the that, key. What? Take it. Here, how do you it? how do you take it? Take the statue. I don't know. Pick it up. <laughs> Just carry it with me. Just like. Well, I'm taking the statue with me. Are you a? Oh shit! It's gone. Good idea, I should probably save. Vasco la vista, baby. Ooh, this... Well... That didn't work out. Death pit? I don't know, but I feel have a feeling I'm supposed to be up there. I can fix it, though. 
<laughs> Dumb fucking. Oh shit! <laughs> you good? I'm good. I'm I'm still alive. Hmm. I heard the uh, I heard the Tomb Raider one music in the in the remaster trail, and I was like, I recognize that. I know that music. Now. Yes. Good thing we played. So we got two. We still got two more. Uh, two more uh, like uh, tombs. Tomb to raid or all right i guess this I guess will probably go... be like uh this will be like a renewed renewed yeah interest yeah totally I'm i don't glad. know how this will be but uh i if you if you do get the remasters i guess we should stream that version for two on right well it's gonna it's not it's not gonna be out until february i don't want to wait oh, that okay. long no if I, I i have a plan for that if i'm going to do if i when I get the games, and I am going to get them. Yay, I'm up here now! And I'm going... Whoa. Somebody's throwing a tantrum inside. And I'm going to, uh... I'm going to, like, uh, stream... I'm gonna do, like, uh, hardcore Iron Man mode, like, runs of these. Uh, on my own time. In my yeah. own stream. Just, like, deathless. Because I think, I think that would be... Because I, I skate, save scum the shit out of them when I played, so... These guys are, are brilliant. Oh no, she's on a meter high stone. Now we'll never get her. Why are cats so bad at jumping? He's cat. Oh, hey, hello. Where's the other one? Alright, better get back to the other platform. These cats are kind of dumb. I'm not gonna lie. They're, they're good enough to hide. I wouldn't call them dumb. I'd call them basic. They've got survival instincts. Nin cats. Remember when I said that this takes place in the Hunter Hunter verse because of just how MORE CATS! You, what, did you trip? No, I, I did the roll. I did the combat roll to, to get... Come on. Tomb Raider, except it's going in Kilua, just uh, just going through all the levels and shit. That'd be fun. I don't see them as the artifact hunting type. Maybe they're doing it for like another reason. I, I miss Hunter Hunter already. Yeah. And it's shame shame we didn't get much further into it with the 2011 thing than we did in the original. All right. Get some health packs. Was that? Was it all caught up to the manga by the time it ended? Um, unknown. I know that the guy who, who works on it, he's he takes long hiatuses, so I'm sure that didn't help. I heard he resumed like a year or so ago, though, didn't he? Yeah, he's he's caught up with Karapika, who um is apparently not doing very well mental health wise. God, I'm just killing all these fucking panthers. Like the storyline, I think, is that they're in like uh, the darkest uh, like continents. That thing's gonna turn into a panther. Oh gee, I wonder what's gonna happen when I pull this switch. I got four already, that's good. <sighs> Fucking more panthers! Welcome to Panther Wars! Are you still there? Yeah. Okay, just wondering. Just checking. Panther Wars. So many panthers. <gasps> oh, it's the panthers! <laughs> and panthers! <laughs> I think I went the wrong way. Oh, shit, 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 shit. <sighs> panthers! It's an impressive ability to apply first aid. In midair. 
that's she's that's how talented she is when it comes to like mid-air healing and combat just just if it would be an anime you'd be like you patched up the bleeding wound in like five seconds in the middle of the air how impressive <sighs> all right is this way the right way to go then oh this is this is spooky oh good is that a shotgun no that's just ammo Okay, there's going to be a cat that's going to jump out at me. Guess not. Okay, so I got to double back to the to the rapid-fire boulder room, I guess. Oh, no, I'm back in the, uh, I'm back in the two pillars room. How did I get in? Oh, because I, I dropped down. I got to climb back up. I'm going up this way. <laughs> Who are some people's death battles for Laura Croft? Uh oh, uh Nathan uh Nathan Drake from uh Na Nathan Drake is the most popular one. And I think he won his. Who is Jin Erso? Jin Erso? Who is Jin Erso? I've never heard that name. It's okay, so... on DeviantArt. DeviantArt? Oh, Disney Star Wars? Oh, that Jin Erso. She's okay, I remember. She's from uh Rogue One. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, did I forget to say no I didn't. Okay, because they're they're open. I see a couple of uh, Jill Valentine's. She's pretty cool. Indiana Jones. Did James I... Bond. <laughs> Why? Why him? He doesn't raid tombs. <laughs> Altair. Altair. Minecraft Steve. Minecraft. Okay, these are weird. Aeon Flux versus Laura Croft. Um. To be honest, Aeon Flux would win. Scrooge Mc McDuck versus Laura Croft. They're because they're both rich. Because they're both treasure hunters. Yeah, that's right, he was a treasure hunter. Wasn't uh, Scrooge, despite being rich, also kind of generous with his money? That Scrooge McDuck, not actual Scrooge, not Ebenezer. That guy was a piece of shit. I don't know, I know nothing about uh, DuckTales. Woohoo! It had a pretty epic soundtrack, the NES game. So I've heard. I, yeah. I know it's like, a, it's like a cult classic, a lot of people like the series. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. God. I never really saw any, like, Disney cartoons growing up. I Cartoons in the sense of, like, Mickey Mouse shorts. Because they only really showed any on, like, House of Mouse. And then it was a very limited pool. They didn't just show yeah. Disney cartoons the way they showed Looney Tunes on TV. Yeah, like, Disney cartoons, it was, like, just limited run, like, uh, artificial scarcity shit. Whereas with, uh, I'm going to see if I can grab it. Probably not. Oh, I can. Uh, like Looney Tunes, where it's just watch them. You better watch them all. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! <gasps> you see that? There's a skybox. Oh. There's a there's fucking a window. There's we a, can see outside of a lower a, of a Tomb Raider level. There's a fucking skybox that they somehow figured it out for the uh, for the original. This is a okay. This is a very sketchy se series of jumps. Um, a lot of health packs on this level. Yeah, I didn't really see any either. I think I think uh, there was one which was like a uh, which was like a driving instructional video, but starring Goofy. Yeah, there and was, was a lot of those. Yeah, there's a lot of like parody instructional videos with Goofy. Can you can you imagine like fucking uh, like. Uh, Somebody doing that, like a parody instruction video, except with Bugs Bunny. They could make it work. They could, but they did never do that. They were just focused more on like uh, parody of modern life. This was uh, this was Looney Tunes, but uh, I've seen some of those uh, like military instructional videos with Sergeant Snafu. Pr sorry, Private Snafu. Private Snafu. Are you familiar with those? Uh, no, but I have I have seen uh. Like, uh, Bugs Bunny shilling, like, war bonds. It was like a comically incompetent soldier. It was just like, what not to do as a soldier? 
Oh, that actually sounds pretty funny. Like, like that, except for forklift instructional videos. <laughs> Bugs Bunny in a hard hat. Okay. I, mean, I guess I'm gonna have to out jank, out juke some uh, rocks. Bugs Bunny doesn't really work for that sort of thing because Bugs Bunny has kind of always been the. He's like the in control character. Yeah. There's almost like a power fantasy element to uh, like Bugs Bunny's appeal. I get you. The alligators are gonna tear me to shreds. I need to get this guy quickly. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm, I'm busy. Okay, good. Now fuck off. Fuck off. Okay. I'm gonna heal first. Wow, you can even do it underwater? Uh-oh. <laughs> Man. Look, I'm, I'm literally outside. Alright. Okay, gotta heal again. And, uh, network hiccup, looks like. I think we're good now. Oh, I died. Damn it, I gotta go through that, uh... How far back am I? I don't remember saving. Can you hear me? Okay, that's bad. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. You had a, we had a network kick up? Yeah. Okay, I hope it doesn't affect the recording. Probably shouldn't. No, it won't affect the recording. That's, that's... why we do the recording. Yeah. Why we don't, uh... What's down here? Oh, just spikes. I get, I get you. Alright, attempt to do that's kind of a gnarly thing to include in a uh, in a, the, the park editor in Tony Hawk 2. The punji pit? Yeah. Get the punji pit and it's just like, you fucked up. I, you can hurt me while I'm... Uh, <laughs> that's mean. That's so mean. Isn't it, isn't it already open? Did you need to do that again? Yeah, I, it wasn't. I died, remember? Oh. All right, attempt two. I don't think any of the levels in the base game had this many enemies on it. Oh yeah, this is this is fucking Kaizo hack. I've we've never seen Tomb Raider Kaizo. Dead. Might exist. I'm, I'm gonna look that up right now. It's a fucking night sky, Zelrog. It's I mean granted, it's kinda Jack, weird. It's not real. <laughs> Jack, it's a stage. <laughs> oh shit. This is the Truman show. No, it's Paradigm City, a city of amnesia. Somebody just, just like, put a big tarp on the ceiling and just put a bunch of, like, uh, like Christmas lights and called it a day. But still! It's progress! We're gonna see better skyboxes, like, in future games. Like, better water as well. So, I found a, uh, what do you mean future games? This came after Tomb Raider 3. Uh... No, uh, no, 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 no. No, why are you here? Why are you guys here? I killed your master, stop! Nice shot of the uh, mummy ass. Guys, we don't have to do this. Wait, hold on. I can just go in here. There we go. I'm safe. Oh, f God damn it. <laughs> Set yourself up for that one. <sighs> Alright, so I'm just gonna go over here and, uh,. Oh shoot, it's too thick, it's too steep. Well, where am I supposed well, to go? Wide. Yeah, that's... There's health oh, checks here. down here, so you must be able to get out. No? Okay. <gasps> okay, up here. And with... Uh... It's just too- oh shit, why'd I do that? I can get out. They're not- they, they can't- I- they can't come up here. Or they can't I, come I down here. I think you're gonna have to go up. I know. Come on, you bastards. Bring it on, you alien bastards! Okay, cool. Alright, I got- I got some hits in there. Do you only have the pistols? Yeah, I, I only have the pistols right now. Bring it on, you bastards! Uh... Oh, we a modern shooter now. We what? Fortnite. Oh shit, I'm sorry, I hit I hit right once and you know what, that's fine, I'll just grab this health pack. Oh, 
best it was best pissed that I raided the temple the first time and she's using whatever she can to like take her revenge. Okay, got one of them. Oh, they didn't, they didn't he, he didn't explode. He just shattered. Come on, get up. Come on. Okay, fine. I'm up there, I guess. Oh, and there's a third one. Okay. Can you reach it from here? I'm gonna save first, because I, I just killed a whole bunch of fucking animals and mummies and shit. Hey. You friendly? It just, it fell. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, one out of four done. Alright, what's this level called? I don't know what- I don't know, so I'm gonna have to save immediately just to know what level each one is called. Alright, so this level is called... Temple of the Cat. Cool. Uh, the first result for Kaizo Tomb Raider was a hack called... Kaizo Raider The Mask of the Bahamishians. Bahamishian. That's a great name for... Fucking nothing. Kaizo Raider, Tomb Raider's hardest custom level. I'd love to see it. Or, you know what? I'd love to play it. I'll have to get, I'd have to get Last Revelation. I ha I own Last Revelation. What the fuck am I thinking of? I just install Last Revelation, I'll get that mod pack going, and, uh, and that'll be more content. Tomb Raider. I'm a Tomb Raider, like, uh, streamer now. Now and forever. Kaizo Raider. This is on speedrun.com. Is there like a download somewhere? I'm sure there is. What's going on? What's the website called? Romhacking.net? Yeah, sure. There's one of Oh! Uh. More mummies. I can see it. I can see the night sky. Oh wow. This looks kind of sketchy. All right, so this is the legendary temple of the cat, huh? Looks Oh wow. Uh ooh. You see this shit? It big. It We're big. Gonna, you got to climb up the uh climb up the Qbert stairs. It's a pyramid. See, we're literally climbing a pyramid it's right a now. Minecraft pyramid, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, another. F oh, you can climb up. Too bad you're dead. Cats in this, in, in like Tomb Raider, are like the deadliest prey. They're like the deadliest predators. Okay. Uh. I'm in awe. Actually, I really like this level. Just it yeah. looks the the skybox and just combined with like the outside, it's it's really got that. This is impressive for. I, I, you know what? I think they, that you got wrong information. I don't think this was released after Tomb Raider 3. It was on the Tomb Raider wiki. I, I think, why would they release a, a, a pack for a game that's, you know what? You could be right, honestly. What am I thinking? You're the last revelation. That was the fourth game, right? Yeah, that was, it's supposed to be the, the like, the last game in the, in the franchise. And then they made Chronicles and then Angel of Darkness and then Crystal Dynamics was like, Your your work is over, son. We will take over for you. And Core was like, Thank you. And then and then they collapsed into dust. At least I think that's how it works. Oh yeah, Tomb Raider Gold on Moby Games. Oh, you can buy it from Mo on Moby Games? Or no, Moby Games isn't. Let's see. Tomb Raider 3 was no released 20th of November, 1998. 
Okay, and this is 1996. Oh, wait, Tomb Raider. No, this was 1998. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Shit. All right, I need to find two keys to progress. Good to know. I, all three games are on the same, like, basic engine, right? Uh, this one's the most primitive version of the engine. And then I guess they uh, improved it for two and three. I don't know what- March 1998. So th this was early 1998. Three was late 1998. That seems off. Because when I loaded up this game, it said 1996. Yeah, the, uh, that's when the original Tomb Raider released. So, so unfinished business they released two years later. That's that's still bizarre to me. All right, I guess I'm coming up here. No, I'm not. Okay, I know what I need to do. I think second way in, and it's up in here. Or is it over there? What's over th Did I already come from over there? Oh, there's... Look at all those fucking boulders. How'd I do that? Okay, so these four levels are grouped into, like, two sets. This batch is called Shadow of the Cat, and then the second campaign, the second two levels, is called Unfinished Business. Okay, so... So I'm, I was mistaken. This isn't Unfinished Business. We gotta retitle the stream. Sorry, welcome to Tomb Raider Shadow of the Cat. Oh, the shotgun! You're gonna kill me if I pick up that shotgun, aren't you? I knew it! Okay, so here's some history from, once again, Stella's Tomb Raider site, which seems to be a reliable fan site for Tomb Raider stuff. Yeah. Shortly after the release of Tomb Raider 2, the original Tomb Raider was reissued for Windows and released for the first time for Macintosh in a special gold edition. Oh yeah? So... Included the original levels plus two new expert, cha expert chapters. The bonus levels were made available as a free download for players who already own the original CD. Okay, there we go. That, that, that solves that. I got the shotgun back, by the way. Right. Right. So that means that uh, that the cats will be easy prey. I forget. Is a shotgun good in this game? It's all right. I took out that one centaur with like two shots. I like Shotguns to... tend to vary a lot in video games on whether they're like good or crap. Um, you can actually find in the same series it being a uh, shotgun being on like the spectrum of good and crap. Doom. Yeah. So the Doom shotgun is uh, is pretty decent in uh... another fucking cat. Because I got the shotgun, you're like, hey, you want to use it? Matt. So, Doom's original shotgun was pretty good. And then, uh, Doom 3. Uh, that shotgun, uh, was, uh, was crap. Uh, because in original Doom, the shotgun, like, kind of worked at, like, longer distances because of the pellet grouping and it had really good stopping power. Whereas in Doom 3, it took you sometimes two or three shots to, like, kill, like, even a mid-level demon. I, uh, I started watching a little bit of, uh, Doom 3 recently. It, Doom 3? Uh, yeah. I see why it was divisive. Because well, it was bloody? No, oh, they tried to go in, like, a horror direction for Doom 3. Oh, yeah. It's like... <laughs> Which probably explains why the shotgun was crap, because they didn't want you to just, like, feel powerful and blow through everything. They wanted you to feel vulnerable. Okay, how does the flashlight work in, in, in that version, in the version you're watching? Uh, Joel played it with a mod that had the flashlight. It had the, included the flashlight. <laughs> included... I think it was the, X, the Xbox version. They added the popular fan flash my light mod. Yeah, because uh, in the one I uh, I played, um, Ed, the flashlight was like, you gotta switch to it and then like look and then you gotta just... <laughs> you couldn't have it out at the same time as a gun. But on the bright side, you know what you could do with it? You could what? hit you could hit enemies with it. Oh, okay. And you know what? It kind of took away the tension when you had like people just like enemies just coming at you, like trying to kill you, and then you just like go away and you just smack them with the flashlight and then they disintegrate and you're like fucker. 
Fuckers. People do that. They keep on, like, heavy flashlights to be used as a blunt weapon in the case of, like, a home invader. Oh, yeah. My and... grandma kept one under a pillow. One of those big fucking flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing what I know about about uh, about your grandma, that's that's a hilarious mental image. She, she was a very frail, sweet old lady. I cannot imagine beating the shit out of someone with a flashlight. Hello, and then ah, you get out of my house, and then smack, smack. Ow! Get fuck. Some. All right, I got one of the keys. Uh, I'm gonna need to find the other one. I have no idea where to start looking. Well. Search around a bit, I'll find it, and then we'll progress. Yeah, you're your grandmother. Son. Oh what? Where did you it's very different it's a very different type of level than the first one. Yeah. Being so wide open. Yeah. I like this level. I feel less like like I'm I'm like an exploring an abandoned tomb, and more like the like the tomb is like I'm actively being attacked. I'm just hiding in a tomb to kind of get away. From me. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch to my. Oh shit! Leave, leave me be. One, got two. Shotgun. I think I remember, like, uh, in the movie Aliens. I don't know if I misremembered it or, uh, or if it was something that actually happened. Like, one person pulled out a shotgun, handed it to somebody, and went, "Shotgun, great for close quarters." And the guy took it like, "Thanks, I guess." Okay, these are movable. I wonder if. <laughs> I feel like there's something in that fucking, like, uh, Valley of the Boulder. Yeah. Like, I gotta climb, like, I gotta crap him out and then climb up or something. This game is mean with triggers. Yep. Okay. What about you? You're gonna come after me now? You you will once I uh, once I grab the web the stuff huh? No. Okay. Well, why are you up there? What is your purpose? Okay. That weird ass boulder that's just up there. I'm sure I. All right, I'm gonna look around. Sadly, I could not find the quote. I was trying to look it up. Were you looking up the uh, quote for? The shotgun's great for close quarters. I, I, it might have been like just, uh, because I think the thing with the aliens is that uh, they were all like carrying like like crazy good armor piercing weapons and shit to like take down the xenomorphs, uh, like armor. And then some somebody looked and they're like, hey, um, there's like all these like fancy pipes and stuff that could rupture, a cooling, and cause a chain reaction. Maybe we shouldn't use all these like all this like high powered stuff. <laughs> And somebody's like, well, how else are we supposed to kill them? I'm like, I don't know, just make sure nobody's firing those, like, high-end armor-piercing shit. Which is a moot point. You really think that all that stuff on the walls on a spaceship is, what, important? <laughs> they, were, they weren't on a spaceship. They were in, like, a, they were in, like, a colony. And they had an atmosphere. Is that different? Uh, there was an atmosphere on the planet, for one, a breathable one. Okay. Uh... Okay, so here I am again. I'm just going to offload this key. I saw what someone did. Posited a death battle. Uh, Laura Croft versus the Predator. Mm, no, no. Laura Croft would die. They'd have, like, all these death animations uh, for her, too. There would be, uh... Her getting, uh, getting impaled long-range by the spear. They'd have her, uh... Getting, like, her, her head ripped off by, like... While the, and just getting turned into a skull. Okay, I guess I could think Laura of Croft for Mortal Kombat. 
Dude, you know who they added? They added like like fucking all these like, all the bad superheroes from like recent series. Is that a rat? Oh yeah, I saw that. Okay, no, that's just another alligator. Better evade. It's just like a bunch of Mortal Kombat guest oh, characters. It's time. Now. Okay, so it was uh it was Homelander, Omni Man, Omni Man, and fucking John Cena. Not like liter like not John Cena as himself or like pro wrestler John Cena, but like like him as Peacemaker. I guess arguably he's like the like Peacemaker is the nicest of the of the trio. Like like uh, like uh, Homelander is kind of psychotic and uh, is there a key down there? Yep, there is. Oh, that was easy. All right. Oh. So we talked about the uh, the problems with the uh, Switch trilogy of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, go have for you it. seen how the Have you seen how Mortal Kombat One looks on the Switch? <laughs> Humor me. It looks like a PS2 game at best, and it's glitchy as shit. Uh, there's an There's an art. You know what? I'm not gonna blame Switch the Switch for that because they were able to figure out how to get fucking Doom 2016 to run on there. The Mortal Kombat 1 on mobile looks better than Mortal Kombat on Switch. Is Mortal Kombat 1 on mobile? Apparently, yes. God damn. Just to be clear, we're talking about the third game named Mortal Kombat 1. I'm tired. I'm tired of it. Why? I'm like, why are you going back to 1 again? Yeah. That's lazy as shit. What are you doing? That's not. We no actively want people to forget about the previous games in our series. I mean, to be fair, in the original continuity, the game started getting kind of silly with the characters starting to get kind of silly. That fucking dude who was literally, like, like just a Chinese stereotype at one point. Liu Kang? No. The, the, uh, no, the bad kind of Chinese stereotype. Well, there's no such thing as a good kind of stere Chinese stereotype. Sure is but, dark in here. But, like, but like they, they literally had that character's skin yellow. What? Oh, it's light again! What I should have said was the worst kind. My apologies. Alright, uh... Oh, look, more cats. I'm just gonna run. Tired of this. Fucking temple of the cat. Is this some fucking maze? Okay, fine, I can fight here. Ah, uh, yes, an arena for the murder of animals. Laura Croft approves. I hope they add the, uh, the ability to turn in midair, uh, when you're jumping, and, uh, the, to, and backport it to the first game, because that's a, that's a handy, like, feature for combat, and, uh, not having it is kind of rough. Yeah. Alright, what's this do? Okay, okay. I've been playing through uh, the Ratchet games for the uh, achievements, Retro yeah. Achievements, and uh, there was one set for doing uh, Ratchet 2 all in first person. Because you unlock like a first person mode in the New Game Plus in that game. Boy, it's a different experience. Yeah, I bet. Is it dizzying? Uh, it, not necessarily dizzying. Not the nauseating. whole game wasn't necessarily designed for it, and uh, you lose his wrench swing. He, he can oh. only throw the wrench in first person. I forgot about that. Okay, I gotta find another switch to uh, open the door in the water. Also, just the fact that you, uh, in a game where you're often surrounded by enemies, only being able to see directly in front of you is a big hindrance. Yeah. Imagine this in first person. Um... I mean... Yeah, it seems like it'd be, it'd be pretty inconvenient. All right. Uh, am I dropping down now? Game? Oh, well, let's try. Let's find out. Oh! Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Thankfully, the camera stays upright when you're doing, like, uh, flippy shit. Yeah. Flippy shit. Flippy shit. Can I climb out here? Okay, I can climb out there. It must be so disorienting for Laura. Sorry, Lara. Lara. Laura. You're like firing on enemies and doing that upside down shit. Fuck more keys. Wait, what the? Uh... <laughs> sure is a temple. Do you see? Do you, are you not seeing the fucking like gif? The gif? 
The gif, the walls, on the, the gif on the walls. Is something moving? The, I, I oh. would say so. Oh, yeah. No, I hadn't noticed that, sorry. How do you not notice that? Oh, the, the, the hieroglyphic pictures are moving. No biggie. We invented animated rock. Alright, so... Um, is this Bost showing her presence? Bost is aware. Three keys. Why are there so many? This. <laughs> I, I like the constant idea that uh, that gods are this overwhelming, impossible to fight force, and yet at the same time they're completely impotent to actually do anything to humans. Yeah, just don't. They can't just come down and punch her in the face. The, That's never gonna happen. The ultimate stay off your lawn like uh, entities. Stay off my lawn entities. Get off my. La oh my god. So many big cats. Carol Baskin, you're not doing your job. <sighs> Why are they so tough? They got like, they got like bulletproof like fur and shit. Nine mil, nine mil does not do anything to him. Come on. You know what would be great for this if we had the Baki author here to tell us how uh, cats are naturally impervious to bullets <laughs> in a great biological detail. Maybe it's because something about them like running so so fast, allowing their muscles to like be thick, and then a standard bullet won't do anything. I collected like like six ornate keys. Okay, two. Look, I gotta collect four, and they're just all scattered in this room. Whatever. This just feels like the busiest of work. Okay, I think. Let me guess. Two more, two more big cats are gonna jump out and attack me. Nope, I'm just gonna. Okay. Oh, is there? Are there five locks? What is the point of this? What is this gonna trigger? Oh my god, do I need one more? What if it triggers more big cats? I'm just unlocking the cages for the big cats. Oh, I'm lowering the- am I lowering the water level? I can't wait for the final boss, ten panthers. <laughs> just ten panthers in a trench coat. <laughs> The Great Panther Massacre. Uh, another game I realized that was on our list that we could start if we wanted to is uh, It Takes Two. Oh yeah, that's the that's the uh, game, other game by the. Uh, I am lowering the, the successor to a way out, more or less. Yeah. And more people seem to know about that one. Like it's more fondly remembered. Than a way out. Why? Yeah. A way out had like it was like kind of. I like it was a good out. game. I just think not as many people played it. Maybe it take. takes two is more accessible. You have to. It's kill. a cartoonier game. Fair enough. As opposed to this, the kind of serious stuff that was going on with the uh, two the two main characters sitting on opposite ends of a of like a uh, seesaw, and then one of them goes, what "The fuck are we doing?" And then like them just playing like uh, Connect Four, and then them playing fucking like. Uh, Pong. It was definitely one of those games where the silly shit stands out because of the rest of the game is so serious. That's 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 the key to making the silly shit work. 
is uh, is you gotta you gotta like have like serious stuff to compare it to. I mentioned to you that I've been watching the uh, I've been watching Joel play the first Yakuza game or the yeah. remake of the first Yakuza game. Kiwami one, which is the epitome of it's it's a very like stirring dramatic story. Yes, but then you've get you've got wacky shit like a dude who just follows Kiryu around everywhere because he wants to fight him. Goro Majima, and he does fucking like uh, like Bugs Bunny shit to set up situations in which he can fight him. Yakuza 0 is like that too. At one point like uh like he, there's like a big thing where Kiryu has to like like uh like quits anyway. Well he's he's in this middle of this like murder investigation and and like his uh his mentor is going to like go down for it despite the fact that he didn't do it. And then meanwhile yeah. he's just he's just like going up against like a silly ass cult. All right. I think he's got to be down here somewhere then. Okay, yep. Alligators. Let's see down here. Is there another path? Uh, no, that's just Magnum Magnums. So you've you played uh, Zero then? I haven't beat it, but I have played it. What uh, what do you have it on? On Steam? Yeah, it's on PC. Like I have I have most of the franchise on uh, on PC. Is it uh, is it in Japanese, English, or both? Both. Um, Zero Zero was dubbed. I think Kiwami is only in Japanese, but uh, the original Yakuza had an English dub. And I, I learned that uh, Mark Hamill is Goro. I kind of want to hear that. It's just, it's just going to be Joker. Yeah. What's funny is that in Zero, you have like different like fighting styles. And if you switch fighting style, you switch the, uh, the, the background, like, combat theme. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where's the final key? Because I got most of the keys, I'm wondering where the final one is now. I checked the water, but there doesn't seem to be any... That other fucking alligator's hiding. Like a damn coward. Um, I'm gonna get the walkthrough up just in case we need it. Yeah, you probably should. I'm, I'm like, I'm wondering. They hit four of them in an obvious place, which means that the fifth one is gonna be in a really just unusual place. Among the regular pickups in this level will be the Magnums and Uzis if you didn't find them in the first level. Oh, I, damn it. I just got the shotgun. Fuck. Well, that'll be fine. I'll, I'll do it the hard way. I have keys. There are five keys. I have found four of the keys. There one more key somewhere in this room. Where is it? Where is the last key? Wait, what? No? Is is a fucking panther just sitting on one of them? Nope. Okay, maybe it's that panther, because that was the first one I killed, and I can I can predict, like... Are you on top of my key? You are not. I wonder if they, uh, if they edited the uh, sprites in the remaster. The sprites? For the, for the, uh, the 2D pixelated, like, images for the uh, Oh, for, for like, the textures? For the pickups, I mean. Oh, okay. I'd assume so. I don't know though. Uh, so apparently, the not all of the keys are in this room. Okay, where where's the last key? There were some of them in earlier parts of the level. Hmm. First one was in pool pool with timed door. Do you remember that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill the crocodile and go back there. My health like. 
Swim up. through the time door. <sighs> Receive the first key from the bottom. Doing so reopens the door. Did you do that? I did, but I had to use it to get through the, uh... Am I stuck? No. No, I can get up. I can get out. Oh, no. Hold on. There's seven keys? So we use the first two, and then three through seven are for this room. Yeah, so I'm guessing one of them's in here. Yep, here it is. Okay, is that guy going to turn into a panther or a mummy? What do you think? Panther uh, have some of them turned into mummies? Yeah. I'm going to guess panther. All right, what'd you become? Nothing. You're just there for the, you're just there to intimidate Sometimes me. a statue is just a statue. And sometimes it's actually a motherfucking panther. God, alligators are so annoying. Like, you think, oh, they can't get you in water, and then that's what the alligators are for. And they're such a pain to kill because guns don't work underwater. They don't seem very aggressive, at least. I mean, imagine if they were. Later games have piranhas. Those guys are really fucking aggressive, and you can't take them out, like, like easily. Hey, Tommy, check out these piranhas. I remember one of the, uh, one of the Kim Possible villains was like a dude who worked at a Walmart equivalent. Oh, uh, Good Saver or something? And he was just, he was just some schmuck. And all of his, all of his, like, supervillain traps were, like, were great value. Great value. He had, like, a kiddie pool full of piranhas. <laughs> Did he have, like, a laser gun that was just, like, a, like, a laser pointer? He might have. His acid was just itching powder. I think the rope he tied her up with broke because it was so cheap. He... <laughs> he doesn't... He's... Oh, you prepare to feel the wrath of my electric gun. It's just a fucking stun gun. We have a James Bond villain at home. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm jumping down here. Wait, no, I'm not. That's dangerous. Right. Can you give me one second? I gotta use I gotta use the restroom. It'll be really quick. Okay. Entertain him! Well, at least we have music. This is a very elaborate fan site. Stella's Tomb Raider site. Fan site directory. There's other fan sites. Add your link. Oh, this is one of those like old fan sites. It has like the little the little banners on it. Oh, I remember these. German Tomb Raider game. Hunter's Tomb Raider Tales. Indiecroft.com. There's just like this underground network of all the Tomb Raider fan sites. Oh, Tomb Raider, what'd you say? Uh, Jack, this fan, this fan site has like, do you remember those tiny little, uh, those tiny little banners that people would post of oh. other fan sites? Oh yeah? Do they have it has like one of those pages with a full list of those. Oh man, that's, that's ancient. That's like, that is like a tomb that, that needs to be raided and preserved. Lara Croft should go investigate this site. <laughs> Hypnos that's some hypnospace outlaw shit. God. That's what there that should have been like a fucking website that was all about like uh like just the an adventure game that was like Tomb Raider esque. In Hypnospace? Yeah. Green Maybe there was dreams, hot butter ice cream. You know that Have you uh, played Hypnospace? I I only I've only uh vicariously experienced it through other streamers. Um it doesn't really it it doesn't seem like it, it scratches that kind of itch that I would like, but I like the lore behind it. Yeah. it makes me nostalgic for that kind of like uh era of web. 
it's an interesting game, if not one that is necessarily fun for everyone to play. Yeah. But you know what, that's fun. Uh, I watched Joel stream an old DOS game called Total Distortion. Have you heard of that? No. What, what is that? Uh, it's about, so you're like a dude who wants to make like MTV style music videos. Oh, okay, no, I've heard of this. You, okay, you, you're familiar with it. Yeah, you clip, you do like you find like old. Uh, the, there's like music, like like a uh, licensed music, and you like do like live, uh, like the like uh, video DJ, uh, like style, like clips where you just switch between like, like uh, clips, right? Like three channels. I don't think it's live, but you make uh, you make a like shitty DOS music videos and then try to uh, sell them to people. Yeah. Do you need, like, can you keep playing, or do you need to stop for some reason? Mm. No, I'm just taking a drink of water. Oh, okay. Uh, no, the the plot is, uh, there's, like, uh, the government has discovered dimensional travel. What? And, uh, you can, for, for what you spent, you have one million dollars, and you spend it all to be transported to a mysterious rock and roll dimension. And your goal is to make a hunt, uh, make a million dollars back, so that you can, you know, go home with okay. all this dimensional footage for your music videos. Okay, then I don't know what what game you're talking about. How am I gonna? All right. It was it was one of those very weird eclectic DOS games. That actually sounds fun. Um. It's also, like, insanely hard, though, so... Oh, okay. The DOS game? Yeah. That makes sense. That was okay. a thing with, like, uh... With DOS games. Because they were kind of like the Newgrounds games before Newgrounds games. Anytime yeah. there's an indie gaming scene, there's always a lot of games that are, like... There's shocking stuff in them, and they're all often very, very difficult. Yeah. Oh wow, the uh, Egyptian conga line. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting Majora's Mask vibes from from how this level's progressing. Yeah. Just to go into one room and you gotta be like, okay, time to move on to the next part. It's like. And I love swimming through the acid trip dimension. The acid lake is safe for swimming again. Where's that from? Spyro 3. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, well. Oh, there. There we go. Come on. Well, I better somehow find my way back up there before I drown. Am I gonna drown in this level? In this level? This is my first drowning death. Did it never happen in the base game? I no, I never, I never died by drowning because I wasn't stupid enough to. Yep, I'm dead. Oh wow, you last a long time. Pretty brutal. All right, let's try that again. This 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 part of the of the temple is so disorienting. All right. I ignore the Uzi clips because I don't have them. There's just barely enough time to get it and get out. Oh my gosh. Wait, did it change the layout? No, it didn't. I just... I remember, like, the, uh, the earliest... <gasps> it is! Oh my god, okay. Air. All right. 
I remember when I was a kid, there was a Pokemon episode about a, uh, I think it was the SS Anne being oh, uh, yeah. turned shit. upside down. Oh, was it due to a Pokemon? I, I don't remember what the cause of the crash was, Gar but... Uh, it was a Gyarados attack, probably. There was a scene where Ash was planning to cr to uh, swim through a tunnel that he didn't know the end of, and Missy's like, Ash, that's a bad idea! <laughs> and Ash and is it like... caused him, like, you know, drowning. Oh, and yeah. I thought, wow, that's kind of a gruesome thing to, uh, to animate in a show like this. They actually showed, like, the air coming from his face and him turning blue and shit. It was cartoony, but when you think about what's really happening, it's a pretty fucking horrifying situation. Yeah, kids, don't ever go into a tunnel you don't know the end of without proper oxygen gear. Otherwise, shit like that'll happen. Okay, uh... I'll wait. I'll, uh, I'll save because I, uh, I think... Hmm. <laughs> Easiest fucking puzzle. This is a huge level. This it, is still level two, right? Yeah, a four. These things are just not wanting to go down. Shotgun feels hit or miss. Or I'm just missing with it. Like, there we go. These are Atlanteans, right? The mummies? I think they're just regular mummies because the Atlanteans exploded. Remember? I guess I got the other one. Alright, uh... Well, that's, uh... Okay. Guess I'm going down. I wonder what our goal is here. I want to find like an ancient statue or something. We're gonna find we're gonna find the uh, the ancient uh, wall scroll of Bast. No, okay. Well, I got them both. So, so is there something I have to collect from up here? Are those like items that I? Oh, there's a switch over. There are two switches over there. What do you think? One of them is going to trigger is going to trigger the way out, and the other one is going to dump fifty is going to dump fifty panthers in my lap. Well, obviously you have to pull both. Okay. All right. So that one is that one does that. What does this one do? Okay. So both. <laughs> What was the point of that boulder? Does it block me from head my way back into <laughs> God, I used up so much of my shotgun ammo. The shotgun is good when it wants to be, but it's but it can also be bad. I I I wish I knew more about how the shotgun like really worked. Okay, almost done. Gotta climb up and out of here. Is there gonna be a fucking boulder? That's good. All right, we are back. Oh, here, there's the other one. It's fine, I won't be there for that much longer. It's such a visceral scream. Like, that's not yeah. a falling scream, that's a death scream. That, the, the actress that, uh, that, she was only here for this one game, right? And then and they replaced her with another, like, a voice actress, and I, and I kind of think that this one just nailed the role so well. Yeah. All right. I wonder if Laura Croft has her own uh, Wikipedia page. Probably. She does. Hey. Oh. Uzis! <laughs> Alright, how much do I got? How much ammo do I got for them? Uh, 100. That's not going to be a whole lot. 
Better get some more. I have a, I have a feeling there's gonna be some weird ass boss here. But look at all those, look at all those mummies. They're huge. Yeah. Are you gonna attack me if I grab the the? No. Yes. Maybe. I'm gonna take him. What do you have to say about that? Nothing. Okay, good. All right, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna take some of the. Uh... You have anything to say about that? Man, y'all should you. be in like sarcophagi. You look cold. You look like you're miserable. Imagine just like, just like willingly just being like, yeah, sure, I will, I will be. Why are you looking that way? Shelly you... Blonde is the uh, Tomb Raider one actress. I'm looking at a list of all the Lara Croft actresses. I don't recognize any of them. I'm not surprised. One of these guys are going to come out and attack me. None of them came out and attacked me. Okay, I should have like a bunch of ammo now. 500. Better than nothing. Guess I'm going forward. This is this is a huge ass level. Okay, there are enemies. We're gonna be fighting. Many models have portrayed Lara Croft for promotional appearances, earning the character a Guinness World Record for most official real-life stand-ins. Up, oh, one of them is alive. Giant ass mummy. Oh, that got me. Good thing. That, that I was saved. the death. You just got thrown a couple feet in the air. No, I jumped and he killed me. And then the way, wow. due to the way the engine works. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna fight these mummies. I am just gonna run. And yes, this is me saying this. Oh my god. I was close. I'm gonna. Okay, I am gonna have to kill him. God damn it. All right. Now, is there. Is this gonna be a tactical? Oh, one of them is already active. Gotcha. Come at me, bro. There's one. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stand. I got, oh, I got two of them. All right, I know what I can do. Okay, come on. I am safe up here. Tactical advantage. Uh, at least they only sick them on you one at a time. Uh, no, there was like four of them. There's a Laura Croft way in Derby, Derbyshire. Yeah, she's she's the icon of. Uh, and the an UK icon. had four Laura Croft postage stamps. Four, huh? There you are. Come on. All right. Oh, that was a nice. Do we do all this for like a really comfortable chair? The world's most comfortable pair of underwear. Dude. Lingerie of Bast. Okay. No, Laura, you left the chair. What? Okay, what now? It was about the journey, not the prize. Well, I'm glad I got the Uzis. That this is uh, trivializing these encounters, but why do they? Why do they just bring put this part onto full bright? Wait, 
You don't think, do you, that so up there, do you think that maybe it's like that scene in uh, the third Indiana Jones film? What do you mean? There's like an invisible path or something? Yeah. Just, just gotta jump off and like, I'm gonna do it. No fear. You should have feared. I should have feared. All right. I better fucking start climbing down. Okay. Uh. Okay. Game, you're you're giving me a lot of mixed mixed, mixed signals. I already killed the mummy. Stop fucking. Those ceiling tiles look kind of random. Yeah, I thought they really had they had like a point, but I guess not. I guess I'm gonna have to just. What's that? That was oh. death. Oh, I guess the is that bottom. Just like a death floor. I guess it. I guess the bottom is radioactive. All right. Uh, I got a new plan then. There. I drop down there. I drop down here. Jump. How did this mu this uh, track or any of this game's music have ever been played at one of those uh, like video game orchestra concerts? Maybe. They like they like to play the hits though. All right, I did it. The one thing I always like about the game awards is when they do the uh, like the the band medleys for uh, video game tracks. Oh wait, hold on. I just realized something. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a separate save here. But I'm gonna go back to the other one. Maybe I did this the entirely wrong way. Oh, whoops. The Lola character in 1998 German movie Run Lola Run is often compared to Croft. How? Okay, so no. So it just appeared after I got to the end. Alright. Because she ran. She ran. Lola ran. This really is like just like the, the magnum opus of Tomb Raider 1, this level, and there's still two more levels to go. <laughs> I hope they're not like both longer than this one. Is this the right way? No, it's, this, that's the right way. Well, it's impressive how they're able to grow a palm tree indoors without any fucking sunlight. Maybe they're mummified palm trees. Cat magic. Ancient cat magic. Why am I wasting Uzi ammo on this guy? Okay. All these animals have to be, like, starved if they immediately attack you. The crocodiles and the, uh, and the, uh, panthers have been feuding with each other for centuries over the dwindling food supply. To the point where they'd be willing to eat each other. Oh, another one. If they do the remaster, they fix the UI issues because it's. Yeah, I'm playing this in like very high definition. I can barely see like the ammo counters and shit. Yeah. Oh, more of them. They probably will though. 
probably look at that and they're like, the numbers are too small. It's things like that that I, I generally trust modern remakes to do. There's always the chance that other other stuff could go wrong, but... Yeah, like, uh, like the game somehow not running well. But there's like obvious relics of the DOS era of game design that uh, oh, here we go. That's that are just kind of no-brainers in 2023. Yeah. Okay, come on, I need to... Alright, so I can climb up and out of here now. Here, push that crocodile in so the other one has something to eat. I have to eat my brother. Wait, okay. I just I just realized something. I just, it's something that just yeah. occurred to me. If if does is it not is is it is pickle and like modern humanity so far removed that it's not technically cannibalism? I I guess no. They're still Homo sapiens. Well, yeah, but it's like it'd be like us eating monkeys. No, no, it's, no? it's definitely closer than that. It's like millions of years. You think yeah, that you think it's really... millions of years, but it's still the same species. Side note, I like the fact that we do Baki has made us just accept that there was a caveman knocking about with dinosaurs. Yeah. It never happened, but <laughs> the gray that writes Baki based his knowledge on the Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. God. The latest event the latest like uh Flintstone piece of Flintstones media is uh fucking the uh the the WWE like uh crossover. Oh, they did do that, didn't they? Yeah. It was uh, CM Punk's final like uh, involved uh, appearance in uh in WWE media. He wasn't CM Punk, he was CM Punk Rock. Cuz it's Flintstones, you see. Yeah. Okay, and no? What the fuck is the plot of that movie? Um... WWE Flintstones movie. Flood Fred wants to be a wrestler and everybody tells him it's a bad idea. That feels like that would be the plot. Okay. Yeah, but it is the gang with Stone Age versions of WWE characters. Yeah, who's, I guess I should have figured that. Who was Cena? Who was uh, John Cena? Uh, characters. Brie Bella as Brie Boulder. Okay. Nikki Bella as Nikki Boulder. Yep. Daniel Bryan as Daniel Bry Rock. <laughs> that's lazy as fuck. You can't just stick rock on it and make it. That's not how puns work. So it was. John Cena as John Cena Stone. Stone and Rock. And I'm gonna guess that The Rock wasn't even, like, a character, despite the fact that it's in his name. Mark Henry as Marble Henry. Okay. That makes Vince sense. Vince McMahon as Mr. McMagma. That's. Of course they'd give, the, he'd give himself the best name, that fuck. Rey Mysterio as Rey Mysteriopal. That's good. That's a good one. CM Punk Rock and yeah. The Undertaker just gets to be The Undertaker. But... <laughs> hey Undertaker, you want a silly name? No! Of course, of course the guy who like is serious enough to, to have like wrestler court would be like, I don't want a fucking silly name. You guys can have your silly names. I'm not doing it. I'm the fucking Undertaker. Which, oh, that's, is that the implication that the Undertaker's been around since the prehistoric times in sure. the universe? <laughs> I have a feeling we're near the end. We're going into, like, all these, like... <clears throat> I want to see the, uh, the Scooby-Doo snow globe of, like, all the things that are canonically in the same universe because they've all crossed over with Scooby-Doo. I'm going to die. These fucking pieces of shit, like mummies. Hate these mummies, man. Like, forget Hanna, forget uh, Warner Brothers. Just the Hanna Barbera extended universe is fucking huge. Let me. No, I refuse to fight. Okay, I, I guess I'm gonna have to fight you. 
You still uh, got Uzi stuff left, don't you? Yeah, I got I got Uzis left. Actually, what's back here? I got like about 125 rounds, which is probably good enough for one of them. Wait, what? Oh, there's multiple paths to victory. Wait, what's this one? There's like skulls on it and shit. What does this do? All right. Oh, instant death. Actually, I knew about this. This is the only thing I knew about it from that game was the uh, was the instant death room. You go in there, you just you just die. Yeah. Yeah. So effective trap. Yep. Oh, hey, look, this is built like an actual trap. Who would have thunk it? All right. Uh, I guess I'm going in. Oh, this seems way simpler than. Is this an action? Hold on. Is this? This is the literal Sphinx. This is another Sphinx. A third one? Yeah. They built. They built this. Like, <laughs> dude, we can build a better Sphinx than this. Let's just fucking build it. Yep. Here we go. Come on, mummy. Mummy, you dummy. Running. Okay, come on. Okay, there's one down. There's another one. Uh... What else would you? What else would do you think Hanna Barbera would have been able to cross over with the Flintstones, or they would have tried to? Uh, well, they just anytime they have they do a Flintstones crossover, they have to like recontextualize whatever they're crossing over into the Flintstones time. Yeah. They just fucking ambush you from behind, and they don't give you a fucking chance to like address it. It's just, oh, we're here now. I think Flintstone Scooby Doo would be weird if you have to do like some ancestors of the mystery gang. Yeah, and, or something. and, and, and Scooby Dooby Doo would be a dinosaur. Yeah. Like, like this, it just like we just went into the fucking snake pit. It's like so many enemies. All right, but we're what? Well, you can't reach. Oh, I can reach over here. Okay. And up we go. More fucking enemies. Great. What the hell? It's like red velvet. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do some tricky jump. You wanna save? Yeah, I'm gonna save. I, I don't Whoever wanna... made this level must have like really liked the combat in this game. No, there's not enough of it. We need more enemies. Nope. What's the fucking, what's the point? Um I'm up here and then What do you want from me, game? Wait. If that is actually the case. Nope. Nope, that was an uh, incorrect maneuver. Guess I'm gonna have to continue exploring. Drink break. Can you not make the running jump from here to the far platform? That's way too fucking far. I'll try it, but I don't think I can. 
what what would be the point of coming up here? That's what I'm thinking. I'm an idiot. I have no confidence in myself. The color of the textures was throwing me off, I think. All right. Well, floor two. Wait, can we see the top of the... Oh, my God. <laughs> That's some clever design with the spikes and shit. We want to make an art piece using these assets. Uh-oh. Those things take hits. Another one? <sighs> An army of mummies that I'm just having to just blow away with my shotgun. Let me guess. I'm going to turn the corner and there's going to be another fucking mummy. I'm just going to have my shotgun out at all times. We could split this into two two-hour streams. Yeah, it's Shadow of the Cat uh, for the first one, and then, like, Unfinished Business, in the actual Unfinished Business for the second one. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to. This is... I did not... They really... That just goes to show just how it's impressive... They're proving more difficult than anticipated, and I... I, we don't know, but it's possible that the next two will be harder than these ones. If the next two are, like, really simple, though, I'll have... I'll get Tomb Raider 2 working and add on standby so we can just immediately slide into that one. If it's, like, 30 minutes or something. Hey, more Uzi ammo. There, there's no way about the two levels in 30 minutes. I don't know. And you don't know. Alright. It's my job to freeze you. Uh. Alright, level three. <laughs> that thing looks kind of dopey. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the, yeah. the statue head. It's still impressive, though. They managed oh, to make fuck. it work in the limitations of this system. I just killed myself. No, I didn't. Okay, good. I also have to climb up there again. Oh man. Tomb Raider is the kind of game that just makes me sweat with uh, with uh, anticipation. It's like what what else what other insane shit is this game gonna throw at me? Well, oh, better climb back up. So you haven't played any of the uh, more modern Tomb Raider entries? I've played uh, Tomb Raider... I've played Tomb Raider Legend a little bit, and then the disc broke. Is uh, that uh, after saw... the reboot? Yeah, yeah, it was the reboot. I played uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary, which was fine. I haven't played Underworld, and I played the Tomb Raider remake and was unimpressed by it. Does she literally go to the underworld in Tomb Raider Underworld? Maybe. Uh, considering the... That's not off-genre <laughs> that, that for... That would sound a little bit silly even for this series. No, it, you, you, you wait till we play 2 and 3. You're, you're gonna be like, okay, I, I, I stand corrected. Keep in mind that, like, Atlanteans were alive and... And they were, like, doing, like, genetic experiments. Or at yeah. least one of them was. So... As far as, as this series goes, like, there's a lot of stuff that isn't off the table. In, in Chronicles, she fights ghosts in Ireland. As, like, a teen. Thou knoweth too much! And then, and then also in Chronicles, she, like, does, like, a... She breaks in and, like, fights, like, uh, like corporate cyborgs and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like this series because it's just like, it's that 90s thing of like, well, anything is true and everything is permitted. Yeah, it's just like, she's Laura Croft, she can do, oh, fuck off. 
How many, how many, how many shells do I have left? Five. God damn it. I hope there's no, like, final boss or anything. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to I... get on the top of the cat. Why does it have, like, a pillar coming out of its spine? Because it's, uh... Because its back is broke. Alright. Up here... The big cat's looking at the small cat. Almost adorable. We're outside again. Okay, I'm up here. Uh... Do you think we can walk up the nose? We, there's no fucking way we can. That's way too steep. Good thing I saved! Those cheekbones, on the other hand, they look like they're, uh, they're, mm. Second thought, no. This game is on Android? Everything's on fucking Android. I don't think, okay, I'm not, I am not, uh, sure enough that that'll work. Okay. Oh, I thought we could just walk up that. No. <clears throat> I can tell because it's like it, it, at a certain point the steepness just it just Laura just slides off of it. Lara, Laura, I don't know anymore. Mrs. Croft, Governor Croft. There's a panther down there. Oh, that's the mouth. Can we jump into the mouth? Let me check out this panther first, and I'll get back to you. It likes the spikes. It's, it's like a perfect, the perfect uh, kitty scratcher. Okay, got him. Maybe we need to drop down to a place that we can then jump to the mouth to from. Yeah, it seems like it seems like you're correct. Hmm. Yeah, I think I see. I think I see where I need to go. Is that gonna be a big enough drop? Nope. Okay. So the drop is too big because if I don't do that, then Laura will freak out and just flare Laura arms out. So, um, well, I'm just gonna try jumping on the cheekbones. I think I think those are uh, like just uh, slanted enough that I can pull it off. Wait, can I? No, I had to check. We're so close. I can feel it. We're, we're at the. This is a giant fucking cat. There's no, like, where else can we go from here? Okay. Hope this works. Oh, I got a second plan if that if this doesn't work. Alright, let it rip. <gasps> yes! Oh no. You fucking bastard. You son of a shove. You son of a bitch. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, I'm all the way back over here. Can I just jump from here and grab the... I think I can. What happened? You see that shit? That was weird. Yeah, bad angle. Yeah. Right again. Bass is like, I, I thank you for taking out that Atlantean monster, but you don't belong here. 
Just sending a mummies and just being like, no, really, you don't belong here. It just fucking body checks you. Yeah, just like, no, king of the mountain, king of the mountain. So we should uh, save once we're on the cheek. It's not, it's not that big of a time sink. I wanna... Uzi seem like they're. Hey, you. Uh... Is there a way to like dodge to the side so it just goes flying off the cat? What happened? Laura, you jumped too high. Pull I... it back, Laura. <laughs> you jumped too high, Laura. Okay, that was that was that was my fault. That was just a completely bad angle. You're right. I'll save on the cheekbone. I always just call it a cheekbone because what the fuck else am I gonna call it? Cheek stone. You know what? It, they say temple of the cat, but it doesn't. It isn't necessarily bass. Maybe it's Beerus's temple. Yeah. I mean, that kind of looks like Beerus. A little bit. <laughs> Yes, mortal, let's build a, let's build a statue of me and my gods of destruction. Maybe we'll find some wish orbs in here. Okay, save. So Egypt had the most correct mythology in Dragon Ball. Except Egypt doesn't exist in Dragon Ball. <laughs> I did! Piccolo mine flexed on a pyramid. Remember? Yeah. There was an... in Egypt. There was a pyramid, okay, I can't, anyway. I, that is not a viable... Okay, new plan. Uh, up? Where'd it go? I'm gonna come back up. I just stood there and did nothing. That was my that was my special strategy. It confused it. It didn't know how to respond. <laughs> oh, it, it it stuck out its tongue. Our quest is nearly over. We are about to find the legendary temple of the cat. Okay, well not there. What game? Calm down. Do you think we'll uh do you think we'll unlock martial arts supremacy from Corin in here? <laughs> She's just like that's how she learned how to kick and uh They're really playing around with like camera angles here. Another fucking cat. All these so tired of all these cats. I'm owning a I'm getting a dog. And then the second game comes out and she's like, fuck that. I fuck all animals. Hey. Is that it? Am I done? Okay, this is the statue that we'll pick up and walk away with. This is the statue's gonna turn it up. No, it's over. <laughs> that's, oh. that's how it ends. We found the cat. Okay, great. It looks exactly like all the other cats we passed on this level. <laughs> yep. Alright, uh, what, what is the next one? Oh, what? Is this fucking Atlantis again? So, uh, the second campaign, Unfinished Business, does take place in Atlantis, yes. Oh, of course. What's the name of this one? Atlantean Stronghold. Alright, are we gonna end this here, then? For now? Uh, come up back to you. To uh, let's see. Probably gonna be, like, another two and a half, three hours if we do this now. I'm okay. going to guess. Alright, I'm just, we'll, we'll save this for later, then. We got, un <laughs> We'll just call we'll just call the next stream unfinished business with unfinished business and then because that'll be funnier. Yeah. Yeah, I saved, so. Yeah. Right, well that was stream number four of Tomb Raider. Yeah, five stream game. That's that's fine by me. We we it's been pretty consistent. Although the past couple of ones we just how long were we going? A little over two hours. Oh uh, no, under an hour. Under two hours. Are we? Just under two hours. Okay. That's not bad for for 
I'm sure we could have completed it sooner if I wasn't so incompetent with like navigation, but that's fine by me. Uh, all right, well that's that's it for this stream. Uh, next week I hope to finish it, and then maybe we do some AI or whatever as well. Uh, we'll decide what we're doing next week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. Adios.